the blooming of the ghost orchid, which happens every summer. Our particular super ghost orchid is one that's especially large and especially fruitful, and it lives well off the boardwalk, about 100 feet out and maybe 75 feet up a tree. Very difficult to get to, but easy enough to see when you have a scope. Circle. Rare? Yeah, rare. <clears throat> so it's rare because uh, it's only found here in the Fakahatchee in South Florida. It's also found in Cuba, but as I said, it's very rare. So it's a good thing to come and see for once in your life, if not more. The tube of that flower is so long that it takes an uncommonly long proboscis on an insect. And it's pollinated by a fig sphinx moth, which had not been known until the last couple of years. It had been thought that the giant sphinx moth was the one that did the pollinating on the ghost orchid. But we got live photographs from Mag Stone taken in the process, and that was pretty fun to discover. There are over 80 species of orchids worldwide, and they grow absolutely everywhere, from the tundra to the rainforest. And... Uh, they're a remarkable uh, kind of flower, and there are more of them around here, too. Of course, they're such an object of interest to collectors that we kind of don't always point all of them out because they may be gone the following day. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's fun to find orchids in, in corkscrew, and it's also fun to have this very special one.